What is up guys, Razor here, welcome back to Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster for the PC, let's enter Jackal, this is a completely optional area, you don't have to come here, no items or chests to get in this area, welcome to Jackal, the people of this village are descended from the ancient Ronkins. Heh. Sounds like a big deal, don't it? The shops here sell weapons and armor that were excavated from the caves to the north. My pa is an adventurer. He's off venturing right now. My grandpap. Wow, grandpap? I've never heard that before ever. Was an adventurer. He told me there was something underneath Crescent Island. Interesting. Maybe we'll find out what's underneath it later. They say you can hear weird sounds coming from the ground on Crescent Island. Freaky. Yeah, so everybody's talking about Crescent Island in this, in the, on this, in this place. Oh, I'm kind of dumb. I, I used a tent outside, but I could, there's the inn right here. I'm stupid. I wasted a tent. Means I wasted 220 gil. Because the inn was 30, a tent cost 250, so I wasted 220. Oh well. Obviously, I don't care. Buy some more eye drops for later. And antidotes as well. I like to have about 30 antidotes. I feel like poison's one of those stats so much you gotta get rid of. Kids today and their full hearty sense of adventure. Pafa! The pub's always full of adventurers, hoping to strike it rich and find treasure in the caves up north of here. The caves up north are full of traps left by the ancients. If you go there, watch your step. Wait patiently on the path with the skull switches and the truth will be revealed. If you go as deep as you can into the cave, there's a wall you can climb to get out. The caves have been pretty much looted, bare, so most of the treasure chests you'll see are empty. You wouldn't think there's much point in checking them out, unless the traps the ancient set are actually mumble mumble. We get the dance. <laughs> we got dance with the dude too. More people are going to join in, I guess. Nope, I guess not. One more time. Do it again now. Alright. Let's play the piano as usual. Because we are master musicians, guys. So I guess he plays it longer, the higher the level or something, I don't know. He played it for a pretty long time there. I like how he like, does like a pose afterwards. I like to do it twice just in case. Okay, Bartz. You can stop now, buddy. There we go. You don't have to play it twice, I don't think, but I'm paranoid. 
Ever been to Istri Falls? Everyone says they are huge and that the view is breathtaking. Man, I want to go. Way to the east of here is Crescent Island. Ever heard of it? It really is shaped like a crescent. How ingeniously appropriate. Ancient ruins. Ain't no one allowed it to go in there. But then, but them young folks nowadays don't pay no heed to nothing. 500 years ago, our ancestors had a great civilization. Go down the waterfall. Go down it again. Alright. It's enough messing around. Okay, so you can buy an ogre killer here. Quirrell sword. Mage Masher. Which, whenever I think of Mage Masher, I think of Final Fantasy IX, and you can steal it from Baku, the first boss. When you have, like, Senna and all them. I wonder how much you can sell them silver bows for, because I have, like, a bunch of those. Oh, not bad. Look at that, guys. You can make a pretty good profit off those silver bows. Oh, uh, you can steal those from the... What are they called? The... The things with the uh, sickles or whatever. I don't remember what they're called. Anyway, I just equipped the Sage's Surplice there. I want to give the Mage Master to the Thief. Or no, I don't, because it's actually weaker. We'll give it to the... White mage there. A white mage equip equipping a, or I guess it's a time mage, but you know what I mean. And we also have the magic shop here as well. No new spells to buy though. Which means I got a spare 62,000 gil. Not really much more to do here. We can head on over to Jackal Cave. Alright, let's continue on here. Head to the cave right up here. Now this is a pretty neat cave. I remember when I was a, when I was younger. I remember going to this cave and not knowing what to do. Like, I was so young I couldn't figure out what to do here. It was pretty confusing to me when I was younger. But, we'll get through it. Obviously nowadays, because I have the internet nowadays. When I played this when I was younger, I didn't have uh, internet, obviously. I think I had like AOL, but it was like really slow or something. I didn't play this when it first came out. I played it like somewhere in the 2000s. I think it was like the late 2000s maybe. Or no, it was like, like mid 2000s probably. 2004 or something like that. Alright, let's enter Jekyll Cave here. So first things first, we need to hit the switch here. There's a pretty dangerous enemy in this area known as Skull Eater, and you want to have a Geomancer, or multiple Geomancers, to take him out. Later in the game, you can use like Rapid Fire, you can use the Ninja's Throw. The Ninja's Throw will kill him as well, but um, that'll require you to use some of your items, or your weapons, or whatever. Uh, you could also do a thousand needles if you have it. You can do um, some other stuff as well. But at this point in the game, pretty much the only way way we could take them out is with uh, Geomancer. So I guess I could use throw as well if I need to, but I don't really want to use throw. 
And then obviously the other enemies are just regular squirrels, which we fought earlier in the game, which are very easy. Uh, but keep in mind that the Skull Eaters... Uh, um, they... Are pretty deadly, so... They're not like... They're not like the regular squirrels. And they flee as well, see they just fled. You still get AP though when they flee, so... It's actually a good thing when they flee. <laughs> it's like, thanks for fleeing! Thanks for the free AP. And then these just give two, a two AP, so they're, they're worth fighting. So this is a good place to get AP. Like two AP, that's better than what you normally get. Now you saw that switch, right? Let me use Gaia here. Yeah, see, 750 damage. And that, that what I just did, um, I used Gaia, right, and it used Will-O-Wisp, is what it was called in the original game. I think it was, what was it called, like, Ingus Fingus or some, something like that in this game? Uh, basically what that does is it confuses the, the Skull Eater. The thing about the Skull Eater, it has one hit point, right? But it has a ridiculous amount of defense. So you gotta use cheesy like stuff to take it out. And like I said, they hit very hard. You saw I did, it did 750 damage to my time mage. And my time mage is in the back row. So, yeah, pretty deadly. You know, we're gonna continue to move the wall. Yeah, look at that. 1,000 damage. Let's try a lightning scroll, see if it works. Yeah, see, lightning scrolls will work. So you can do that. I honestly don't think you're supposed to come here at this point in the game. I think you're supposed to come here later. I think that's what Square Enix intended people to do, since it is an optional area. Oh yeah, for these, you have to just wait until it like goes to 1 and then you use, the, use it. There we go. Now we go back up here. Yeah, I just fled. It's good when they flee because you just get the AP for free. And mastered Gaia there. But am I doing I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay, I got another skull eater here. Crap, I'm screwing up there. Yeah, one slash was killed in one hit. I messed up there though, obviously. To save your uh, Phoenix down, just use rays. That puts it back, and then you can leave. Okay, so I got to figure out how to do this because I don't remember. I seriously don't remember. But with them skull eaters around, this place is pretty dangerous. So I want to get through here as quickly as we can. I guess one thing that would be good around here... Yeah, have first strike active, which I already do. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know if First Strike uh, stacks with each of your characters, but if it does, then that'd be pretty good.
Oh, there we go. We just gotta do that. Okay. All right. So you're not supposed to activate the wall again. My bad. Okay, now we're on Jekyll Cave B2. And there's three chests right there. Let me go ahead and use an ether or a few ethers. That'll kill him in one hit too. That ability will. So two of the abilities will kill it in one hit. And then the will o wisp will confuse it, causing it to attack itself. Yeah, it's nice to get a lot of AP. Ever get a tent? It's kind of useless, but you take what you can get. It does feel kind of bad powering up Geomancer because Geomancer is kind of terrible, but it's good in this area, so. Okay, Master Throw. So now I can use Throw on any job I want to. Not that that really matters too much. And honestly, I haven't even used Geomancer before in this game, so I can't really... Actually, I shouldn't say it's terrible, because I've Never actually used it before, really. You shouldn't judge something until you've actually used it. So I can't really judge it. Then we get the Blitz Whip. A whip inf infused with the power of lightning. You can equip that on your Beast Master. And that's all the chests here in Jackal Cave. And then there's three chests. It only says there's two. Come on, Square Enix. How do you miscount by one? Seriously? There's clearly three chests on the map here. They did they messed up in Final Fantasy 4 Pixel Master as well, cause <laughs> Okay, what's the point in this? Seriously? <laughs> Alright, so we have to go, we have to just exit the cave. We're done with this cave, by the way. I, the, the cave's done. There's nothing more to do here. We got the chest. We can get out of here. Alright, guys. I'm going to go and end the video here. Fight this battle real quick. Made it outside the cave, as you can tell. Oh, Earthquake. Nice. That was actually pretty good. Light Step. What does Light Step do? Avoid damage on floors with harmful effects. Okay, that's cool. But I'm not going to be... Doing that anymore. Uh, put Time Magic, time magic on there. I could do Gaia. That'd be kind of cool, but I'd rather have time magic. Alright, I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.